Social democracy and basic progressive politics is making the right and the mouthpieces of oligarchs in this country lose their minds so much that one is tempted to embrace full communism just to see what the psychological fallout for these people would be if we did that. This is Maria Bartiromo and Stuart Varney, you know, having a hissy fit about the idea. Essentially, if we were to create an image, tax policies on oligarchs who have money levels. First of all, billionaires should not exist. Billionaires are fundamentally incompatible with democracy, full stop, including a market democracy, by the way. But any democracy where you took seriously the idea that a broad base of people should be making decisions about their lives, no one could be a billionaire, period. And so we're not even talking about getting rid of billionaires. We're just talking about higher tax rates on capital gains Essentially, in the image that I always think of, I mean, it literally is just like Mr. Burns taking the lollipop out of the Simpson baby's stroller, right? Like, you're, you're basically just saying, instead of giving people who already have way too much, both economically, politically, and also obviously morally, and just freeing this, this money up so that people can, like, feed themselves and have heating. Um, this is actually very basic stuff. Listen to how Maria Bartiromo and Stuart Vani oh, talk about this. Welcome back. Democrats are proposing another tax, this time on capital gains. Joining us now, the host of Varney Company, Stuart Varney, to weigh in. Good morning, Stuart. Oh, These taxes are piling up. Oh, oh, oh. Is there any aspect of our financial lives that the government doesn't want to have a piece of? Answer, no. no. Mm. Ron Wyden, Democrats, Senator, Oregon, he proposes that a capital gains tax be levied every year and the tax rate be the same rate as ordinary income. So... If I were to sell my Microsoft, and as I've accumulated my Microsoft over the years, <laughs> according to this scheme, I would have had to pay a capital gains tax every year, even though I never realized the gain by selling Microsoft. You know, I would have to look at how much money I'd made at the end of the year and pay a capital gains tax on that at the same rate as my ordinary income. I mean, dear Lord. Is there any aspect of our lives that they don't want a big piece of? The answer is no. They yeah. want it all. That's what they want. We, we used to have a differential rate between, wage, between work and money. They proposed to make it all the same. Yeah. Terrible. Well, at least they're telling us all their plans before 2020. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, a lot of people will enjoy, like those plans. That's really? my problem here. All right. Hey, Stu, I, yeah. Stuart, real yeah. quick, like, this more. is wealth confiscation. Say yes. it with me. It's wealth Precisely. confiscation yeah. and Precisely. it's communist. Yes. That's ah! exactly what it is. It's at least a socialist. <laughs> For sure. I know you'll have more in 10 minutes, Stu. We'll see I you will. then. Varney Company begins top of the hour, 9 a.m. Eastern. Uh, yeah, it's confiscation. That's uh, good. We support that. But I, I, I will say we all remember... Uh, even those of us who didn't study the Soviet Union that closely. But I think, you know, if you even just took a few courses, you were very aware of the uh, the uh, Stalin's capital gains plan, which was not only central to the Soviet project, that actually set off his second purge, actually. Second Great Purge was Stalin was very angry that members of the uh, Central Committee commentariat uh were uh up they wanted to keep it at a 70 percent rate and he was pushing for a 90 percent rate uh of course during the cultural revolution we saw the highest capital gains ever when mao put it to 95 percent uh it was significantly reversed obviously under deng xiaoping <laughs> I, I'm I, I'm not an expert on capital gains taxes, but the way he says they're trying to make money and in, uh, work tax at the same rate, like money should be taxed at a higher rate. Right, that is an work incredible should. line. Right, you're like, it, it, right, exactly, exactly. I mean that, it, but it is just incredible. I mean, it's not even necessarily socialist. I mean, not to get too pedantic here, but this is just like super basic progressive taxation. And so, like, the projection of radicalism is, as always, just projection, right? I mean, you know, but it's funny to watch them lose their 
minds over it. Uh, and uh, let's give them a lot more to lose their minds about by electing uh, Bernie Sanders president.